Hey, what's going on team? So if you're training at home right now and don't have a lot of equipment, today I'm giving you five really simple training drills using a broom that'll help you with all sorts of different aspects of your karate. And then right at the end, I'll give you a bonus drill using a broom and a chair, which is just a really simple way to create your own multi-purpose training tool. All right, now of course, make sure that you're all warmed up before we do any of these drills, but we're gonna start off with the most obvious, which is sweeping. All right, so we're gonna take the broom, we're gonna put it in our front hand, and then we're gonna use the bottom of our back foot to slide right across the ground and touch the very bottom of the broom. So if you notice, the bristles on the broom are about as high as an ankle, which is about where we wanna stay when we're doing most of our ashiburai or foot sweeping. Now, if you wanna get a little bit fancy, you can always put it in your rear hand touch with that sweep and then roll it over into a round kick just to work on a little versatility and a little hip rotation. All right, in this one, we're gonna make it again very simple. We're gonna put this in our front hand and we're gonna work our lead leg hook kick. So this, as you can see, is gonna bring it up to the side and then the leg will hook around the broom, making sure that we are really getting a good bend in that foot and then bringing it back in the same angle that it came in at. And of course, we can work either front leg or back leg, whichever is more comfortable or get both of them in just so we're really nice and versatile. All right, so here's where things get a little challenging. So this one is gonna work on our speed and our hip rotation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it in our rear hand, kind of like a reverse punch, and then we're gonna let go and shift, punch in the other direction, and then come back and catch it. So our whole idea is rotating our hips back and then right back to that punch, doing our best not to let it fall. Another option is to hold it in one hand, and then you're going to let go, reach behind you, try to touch the floor or get as low as you can, and then come back and catch it before it falls. These are just working a lot of good speed. Similar to that last one, this one's working on our speed as well, but we're gonna be working on some kicking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically let go and try to hook kick right over the top of it and grab it before it falls. So you can also replace this with a round kick if you prefer. I like to use it with the bristles up so that it makes it a little more challenging because it doesn't stand up as easily and you're more likely to get caught on the wider surface. On this exercise, we're actually gonna start off working on some punch rotation by just grabbing the broom right in the middle and then as you twist out at the very end, you should rotate that broom right over and then pull it back to your draw hand. Now, if you want a good forearm workout, you can hold the broom closer to an end, and then as you rotate it, the weight of the broom is going to give you some resistance, and it'll be a good workout, almost like a homemade chi-chi. All right, so those are our five exercises. This next one is just a way to create your own training tool from a chair and a broom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the little side triangle in a folding chair, and we're gonna put that up against a wall, and just basically stick the broom right in there. And this is gonna make it so the broom doesn't fall over. And this way we can shift away, we can throw a lot of techniques and just touch those bristles on the broom. We're working control, we're working nice explosive speed and you don't have to have fancy equipment. These are just some fun exercises. You can get creative and make up your own. Now, if you try these out and end up wanting to post a video anywhere on social, just a tag Karate Playbook because I'd love to see it and just give you a thumbs up for actually training it. With that, have an awesome time training. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.